The five best selling dress shoes. In today's video, Jets, I'm going to be talking about the dress shoes which fly off the shelf. I'm here in New York City at Paul Evans. My friend Evan owns this shop. I've known him for years. And we were talking about what are the shoes that are flying off the shelf? What are the shoes he can't keep in stock? Because there's wisdom in crowds. When you know that men are, again, selectively choosing these shoes. And I found that the five best sellers were very strong choices. These are shoes that I have in my wardrobe. I thought you would like this information. I'm going to talk about each of the shoes. I'm going to talk about why and how they can fit into your wardrobe. So sit back, guys. I think you're going to enjoy today's video. Shoe number one on our list, and no surprise, gentlemen, is the Cap Toe Oxford. This is going to be one of the dressiest shoes that you can have in your wardrobe. Perfect with a suit, with casual suits. You could possibly wear this when you dress down a bit, maybe with odd trousers. I wouldn't wear this with jeans. The color you see here is oxblood, but you're most commonly going to see this in black, sometimes a dark brown, maybe even a medium brown, but darker colors for this dress shoe. Again, this is the number one seller, and I think should be in every man's wardrobe. Key features are going to be that cap toe, which we see right here. Also, we're going to see the clothes lacing. So that's where the back part of the shoe, the quarter, goes right under underneath the vamp, which is this part. So the vamp goes on top and we've got this closed lacing system. Very overall a sleek design, a simple design, something that's been around a long time. It's a classic. You cannot go wrong with adding this shoe into your wardrobe. Look for a leather sole to have the dressiest cap toe Oxford that you can wear. If you want to go for something, let's say, that's going to have a rubber sole, it's still going to be a very dressy shoe, but the rubber sole, do you notice, it's a little bit clunkier. It's a little bit heavier. Therefore, it's not going to be as dressy, but hey, if you're living in a city, you do a lot of commuting, you need traction, then a rubber sole is probably something you want to look for. But you can have some that, you know, go for a leather sole with a rubber sole. You can go to a cobbler. They can actually put a strip of uh, rubber right across there, and that could be a great compromise. Now, gents, all the beautiful shoes you're going to see in today's video can be found over at Paul Evans. I'm going to pull up their website right now. Look at these beautiful shoes. Since 2012, I've been working with Paul Evans. I've got 12, I think now maybe 13 pairs of his shoes in my wardrobe, guys. I can tell you, I love this brand. I love what they make and I've got a great deal for you. Use code RMRS100 for $100 off your investment in a pair of Paul Evans. So go through there, check out all the shoes I'm about to talk about, these five best sellers, or maybe find something that, you know, is a bit unique that a lot of men don't pull off. Here's a perfect example of a shoe that more men should try a blue suede loafer. Guys, we were talking about best sellers and suede is not one of the best sellers. But I will tell you that this is a shoe, this is a style that you should look to incorporate in your wardrobe. A lot of guys scared off by suede. Just simply don't wear it in that really bad weather. Don't go running through mud in shoes like this. Instead, walk into a room, stand out, look great with just footwear that sets you apart from the crowd. Check this out. Isn't this a beautiful ankle boot? Look at this. You got the double monk strap. You've got the cap toe. You got a little bit of the broguing right in here. I can tell you this is not a bestseller, but this shoe is going to set you apart from the pack. And that's what I love about Paul Evans. He's got sneakers. He's got the classics. He's bringing in a lot of different shoes. So go check them out down here in the description. I'm going to link over. Use that code RMRS100. It is not going to be around forever because it's too good of a deal. It's a good company. I know the founders and uh, they're making a great product. These are Blake Stitch coming out of Italy. Highly recommend. All right, guys, let's get back to the list. Shoe number two on our list, gentlemen, the Hoka. This is a modern classic. It's going to be more fashion forward than that cap toe Oxford we just talked about. But get this in black, get this in a dark brown. You could still wear this with a suit. It's going to, like I said, it's going to be something maybe for the younger man, the man that isn't as conservative, is willing to go out on a little bit of a limb. Now, you can wear this with a black, with a tuxedo. I think actually that looks great. It has a very nice sleek design. And that's the key with the whole cut is the overall simple and sleek design. I think in 20 years, this will become a classic shoe. It's just something when I look at it, it is so simple. And to me, simplicity is one of the key functions of menswear. Now, with this simplicity comes of price. When you're looking at a whole cut, understand the price is going to be high because they had to use a very large piece of unblemished leather in order to make this. Specifically, it's only in the back where we see actually the leather is stitched together. So it's because 
they had to be very selective about the product, about the material that went into building this product that the price is oftentimes going to be really high. Now with the whole cut, you're going to want to go for a leather sole. If you don't want to have leather soles, you want more traction, then what you want to do is maybe go to a cobbler. He can put a strip of rubber going across here, maybe something on the heel, but overall you're going to want something that has also a very sleek design. That's why a Blake stitch for a hole cut to me is optimum. Shoe number three when it comes to best sellers, gentlemen, the semi brogue. So this is going to look very similar to the cap toe Oxford, except we're going to have broguing. Broguing is basically where they go into and they put perforations, basically small holes in designs into the leather. So we see it right over here. We're going to see it go right around the vamp and on the back heel, we're going to have what appears to be another piece of leather thrown on top of that with design put right into there. So this is going to be something you don't want to wear maybe with a business suit, but you can wear it with a casual suit. You can wear it with odd trousers. If this was in black, I think in some circles, yes, you could probably pull this off with a business suit, but this is always going to be because of the broguing, it's going to be more casual. Now you may be asking, okay, Antonio, I've heard the word full broke. What's the difference between a semi broke and a full broke. A full broke, also known as a wing tip, is basically going to have more design in on the broguing. Instead of a cap toe, what we're going to see is this type of a toe right here and you've got what looks to be wings on here. And right here, we also see on the front toe, we see a medallion design. Also on the back of the wing tip, it looks like we're going to have another layer of leather thrown on with broguing in here. At the end of the day, all this extra design, all this extra broguing makes the shoe more casual. Shoe number four on our bestseller list, gentlemen, is going to be the classic penny loafer. This is a casual shoe. This is something that you could wear with an odd trouser, odd jacket. You could wear it with jeans. You could dress it up and wear this with a light colored casual suit, especially this color here. Black, maybe you could wear it with a, a gray suit or something like that, but this is something that you do not want to wear in necessarily a business environment. Now, if you're hanging out around the office and you want something that's comfortable, then go ahead, wear this around because that's where the origin of the loafer comes from is loafing around. Think about it. It was something that was meant to be slipped on, slipped off when you were at the home. The slipper had a you know bit of a history with this. You can also say that it had some influence from the moccasin. I love this as a travel shoe. Now, what didn't make this list was the double monk strap and this is another type of loafer. This to me is actually a little bit dressier. Uh, the buckle, I, I just love the look of this one right here, but neither of them because they lack lacing and because they lack a history and an association with dressier shoes, these in general, again, they're going to be something that you want to wear with more casual clothing. But I think if you go, especially for browns, dark browns, maybe even look at a suede, a blue suede over here, wouldn't that look great? This is something that you can wear with a wide variety. You could even wear this with shorts, with maybe, you know, no show socks, the right kind of shorts, actually ones that don't have cargo uh, pockets on them. At the end of the day, guys, I think that this is a bestseller because it fits in a lot of those areas when, yeah, you don't want to wear running shoes. You want something that is just going to look great at the same time. It's going to be casual, it's going to be comfortable. That's where the penny loafer falls in. Next up, gents, we've got the classic chukka boot. So the chukka boot evolved from the World War II desert boot. They say in North Africa, whenever the officers uh, in the English military hired these cobblers to build this, they didn't have much material to go with. They went with a very simple design, a blucher design, which is basically when the back quarter goes over the vamp. So we see this right here, how this part is getting slapped onto this front part of the leather. That right there makes this a very casual type of shoe, but this is also a boot. Boots are casual, but when you see them made from a very smooth, high-end leather like this, it's a very, I think, sleek, classic design. With two eyelets, that is going to be probably one of the dressier looks. Once you start to go to four eyelets, you'll see that on more casual ones that oftentimes incorporate a rubber sole. So you'll see a wide range of chukkas out there. Know that you, if you want to wear this with a casual suit, you want to wear this with jeans to dress up the jeans, you want to go for a more elegant, very streamlined look. That's why I like the Blake stitch. You you will find Goodyear welted chuckas out there. You will find cemented chuckas. Try to avoid those. That's the least expensive and something you don't want. I wouldn't wear this with a suit unless the weather is really bad. Then it provides a bit of protection. I think you could pull it off. When you're buying shoes, what I highly advise is you save up, you buy the best that you can afford. You want something that when you shine it, when you take care of this upper, over time it's going to look better and better. All right, gents, that's it. Let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments and go check out these boots. Aren't they beautiful? I 
just love these. I love, I have to admit, you guys know I love my double monk straps. So to actually now have a boot that's got the double monk that has this nice cap toe with the little bit of broguing in there, this is something that I'm gonna rock with dark colored jeans. You can get your pair of Paul Evans by using the link down below. Use that discount code. It's not gonna be around forever and uh, that $100 off of any of his shoes, guys, that is one of the best deals you're gonna find out there. These are Blake stitched. I know I've got over 12 pairs, probably gonna expand that to 15 here pretty soon. But guys, good company, proud to support them. That's it guys, let me know in the comments if you've got any questions, if I can be of any service to you, if I can help answer anything. And make sure to stop by this shop here in New York. It's actually really nice and I'll put his information down there in the description. That's it guys, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Okay, so you guys are always asking me to go film on location, to go travel and bring you guys some new interesting videos, but this is the stuff we gotta deal with. So during the entire video, I've got these dump trucks, I've got all this construction material, all these, uh, all these different vehicles all over the place backing up. I had to film every part of this video like five to six times just to get one take that didn't have the beeping of some of this heavy construction material moving backwards and fun stuff. But uh, guys, I'm enjoying my time here in New York City. Please come check out Paul Evans. Great company. I'm proud to support him. And uh, that's it, guys. See you in the next video.